Today I will show you how to do a stop motion animation using Google Slides. To begin, I'm in my drive and I'm going to click New. And I'm going to go down to Google Slides and click that. Then I'm going to make this my title slide. So I'm going to leave the words there for now and I'm going to add a background color. You can pick any type of background you want. For now, I'm just going to go ahead and choose a color and I'm going to choose red and click done. Now I'm going to type in my title and my project is going to be about the shepherds visiting Jesus, baby Jesus. And then I also want to make sure to put my name by Mrs. Elke. And it's really hard to see, so I'm going to go ahead and change the color by highlighting the text and choosing a different color. If you want to get fancy, you could also add some animation to your text by selecting the text and going over to animate. And then they have a lot of different options of things that you can do. I'm just going to go ahead and pick one, maybe fly in from the left, and then you can click and it will show you what that will look like. The shepherds visit Jesus. And I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this slide. So I have the slide and I'm going to go up to slide and hit duplicate so that that lasts just a little bit longer. Now I'm going to start working on my actual project. So I have a new slide. This time I want it to be blank. So I'm going up to layout and choosing blank. And the first thing I need to do is add a background. So I'm going to go up to background and this time I want to find a picture. So I'm going to do a Google image search and I'm typing in night stars because I want this to be the shepherds at night. And you can see there's a lot of different options, so it really doesn't matter uh, which one you pick. You can try to find one that works for the uh, um, story that you are choosing. So I'm looking for something that is pretty basic. I want just land and sky. I kind of like this one because the foreground is a little bit lighter. So I'm going to go ahead and put this one in and click done. Now the story I chose was the shepherd's journey. Um, they are in the fields and they're going to go and visit baby Jesus, but you could have also done Mary and Joseph journey to Bethlehem, or maybe the wise men following the star. So there's a lot of different options here. All right, now I'm going to add an image. And what I'm going to do when I type in image is I'm going to type in shepherd and then the letters P N G. And I'm going to just use this one here. The reason I use PNG is that means that the picture will not have a background. So you can see the shepherd is by himself. There's no white background or black box around him. So I'm adding these shepherds. I am changing their size to make them a little smaller, moving them around. I'm also going to use this to find some sheep. And notice even though the sheep looks like it has a black background on the side, because it's a PNG, it actually does not have any background, which is kind of nice because then you can see the grass through the outside parts of the sheep. So I'm going to copy the sheep and paste it. And I just did that by right clicking on the sheep and then you can go up to copy and paste. You can also do that by hitting control. C or command C and then control V and that will change it. Notice this one I flipped around to the other side so that I had a couple sheep looking a different direction. So I wanted to just put a couple in here to show that they're surrounded by some of their sheep. All right, I'm happy with this. So I'm going to go ahead and hit slide and I want to duplicate it. And that creates another slide exactly the same as the one that I have. So I've duplicated my slide and now I'm going to show you if I slightly move 
some of the sheep, slightly move some of the shepherds. This will kind of give them a, like an animated look so that they're not just standing still. So I slightly moved them and then I duplicated the slide. I'm gonna do that again. Slightly move them and duplicate the slide. Slightly move them and it's just a little bit of movement each time. So if they're actually traveling in a, one direction, you would just be moving them a little bit. Slightly move them, duplicate slide. Slightly move them, duplicate slide. So I wanna do this for quite a few slides before I start adding some other things into my picture. So I'm gonna to go to insert image again and actually, because it's still over there on the right side, I don't even need to do that. This time, I wanna add a star. So this is like the star over Bethlehem. So I'm putting the star in, and it's way too big, so I want to make it smaller so it looks like it's a little bit more off into the distance. And now I have a star that has appeared in the sky. And I'm gonna move my shepherds again, just a little bit. You can tilt them and then duplicate slide. So any little movement that you add to your project, you wanna go ahead and duplicate the slide again and that will show that movement before you move them a little bit more. So it's just slight movements each time. The next thing I want to add are some angels because the angels appeared to the shepherds while they were standing out in the fields, keeping watch over their flocks by night. So again, I type in angel and then PNG so that the angel does not have a background. The background is clear so you can see through it. And I kind of like this cluster of angels. So I'm going to go ahead and use these guys. And I thought it would be nice maybe to start off with them really small and then maybe they can, as they get closer to the shepherds, they will grow bigger and bigger. So I added angels. Now I'm gonna duplicate the slide and I'm gonna make them a tiny bit bigger and maybe move a sheep or two, shepherd just a little bit. Maybe they're reacting to the angels and then duplicate slide again and make the angels a little bit bigger again. And move a couple of the other guys again. And then duplicate slide again. So I'm constantly trying to duplicate my slide and move my pieces a little bit at a time. Now, if there's a problem with some of your pieces in front of or behind things that you don't want them to be, you can click on Arrange and that can help solve your problem. You can also check your progress by going to the top and just clicking the down arrow and you can see how now my shepherds move, my angels move, and kind of get an idea of what it's going to look like. So I'm back at my last slide I'm going to duplicate it again and I'm going to continue changing it just little by little. Now here my angels are in front of my shepherd's staff, which I don't want. So I'm going to go down to order and I'm going to have them move to the back. So I tried send backward and they were still in the front. I tried send backward again and they were still in front. So this time I just had them go all the way to the back and that sends them behind the staff and then I can have them get bigger and bigger. So I continued working on my project and I wanted to show you kind of how far I got here by pushing my down arrow. I had my angels get bigger and then get smaller again. 
and the shepherds decided they were going to go and see the baby Jesus. So I have them going off the page and going off to find the manger scene, which is here. And then they come on the other side and they come and see baby Jesus. The angels are singing in the sky and I could continue a little bit more to um, with that. So that's just kind of where I stop for now. You can also present this and then just by clicking like the space bar, you can get an idea of what it will look like. There they go. There's the baby Jesus and they go and visit and the angels are rejoicing. So there you have the amount that I did. Um, I think at this point I have about 72 slides and I probably could have continued a little bit longer, especially at the end, maybe added some type of excitement going on in the sky or maybe some quote bubbles or some words. So there's a lot of other things that you can do um, to add to the presentation. I do recommend using quite a few slides because all those little movements um, need another slide. So I'm gonna go ahead and share my presentation with my teacher, which would be me. And then um, that's a good way to send it. You can also add a title up on the top left. I did Shepherds by Mrs. Elke. So one more look at it before we are finished can see them all moving, the angels coming and going. They go off to Bethlehem and find the baby Jesus. So there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you have fun playing with stop motion animation on Google Slides.